smiling so hard, my cheeks hurt. I'm so excited. Um, one thing that my next guest and I have in common is that we are girls that just want to have fun. <laughs> Calm it down, don't freak her out. She's not even out here yet. <laughs> she is literally a musical legend. She revolutionized the role of women in rock and on Broadway. Please welcome a first timer to our show. We hope it's not the last. Cindy Lauper! <laughs> me what you do today. Snap! <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> Locker! So, you know, I love your look, and it, we were all talking backstage today. It's always evolving. It's always different. And you were rocking the different color hair that everybody, every young person is doing today for decades. Like, you evolved style as, as well. Well, you have to evolve. Yeah. Not just musically, though. I mean, I... I love that you rock cool hair. Well, I've always been fascinated with colored hair. I, I colored my hair the first time when I was nine. Nine? Because, uh, well, my mother wasn't happy, but it did. <laughs> it, was, it, was, uh, it was the food coloring. You know, it is food coloring. It was St. Patty's Day. Oh, that's you know, awesome. We were all green. Yeah, and of course. I wanted my hair to match, so I, I used the green. Oh. Now, my hair is pink out of solidarity because, <laughs> um, you know, because of the Great Women's March when everybody wore pink, and I was gonna make my hair blue. I think it's cool. Yeah. It's another thing I love about you, you always have a voice, a strong voice. Well, you know, if you need something done, I got a big mouth. This past year, when I went to see the Women's March, the young women, the older women, they were carrying signs that said, girls just want to have fundamental rights. And wow. I, you know, when we first did this, you know, and they said, well, it's got to be a girl's anthem. I said, fine, let's get every racial type that live in New York City and put them together so every little girl will see herself and know that she, too, is entitled to a joyful experience in life. And I made sure it was multiracial, all different kinds of people together. And I thought that and all ages, that's a so part that women it. can recognize each other. Yes. At every age. That song has been covered by so many artists all over the planet of every age and every type of music. And wow. when, I, when I first heard that song, I literally couldn't sing along to it on the radio without bursting into tears. And it makes me like get so teary just thinking about it. What, is the, what does that song mean to you? Well, uh, women with big voices sang other people's songs. They didn't write. And I was writing for a band, but I wrote Rockabilly which is kind of like a cross between country and rhythm and blues. So they, they said, well, that's old music. You can't do that. So then finally, um, I, I got them to let me write with Rob Hyman. I was fighting, and we wrote time after time. And they were like, that's all great. And I was always thinking, but why don't you just let me write a few more songs? <laughs> I got chicken skin when you said that. That's why you do that. That's why you fight the good fight.